love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now waiting better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find almost anything I'm hearing on the news services that the air mass over New England is apparently the coldest air mass on the entire planet. Um, I haven't checked as to the veracity of that claim. Uh, it seems like there are other places that might be pretty cold, but it certainly is colder than it normally is here. Uh, outside, it is about 10 degrees. Uh, this is Fahrenheit, 10 degrees um, above zero uh, Fahrenheit. In the greenhouse here, though, um, we don't have any supplemental heat in the greenhouse. I'm looking at a thermometer. It's 55 degrees here in the greenhouse, and that's just from the sun that's coming in. So it is uh, 10 degrees outside, 55 degrees in the greenhouse, just from having uh, the sun falling on it. It's a nice sunny day, at least. So let's go outside, and we'll see what things are like outside. I know they're colder than in here, like I said. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little above 10 degrees. At, uh, at this point right now. And it's uh, it's chilly, but you know what the thing is, is it's the wind. It's the wind that really uh, takes it out of you on a day like this. This is not the kind of day that you want, well, it's not the kind of day that you want to be walking around in uh, uh, well, a t-shirt and uh, a bathing suit and loafers like I've got on right now. But uh, it's, it's not too, too bad, but it's, it's the wind that really kills you. Uh, that uh, It just really draws the, uh, temperature out of you so it's not the kind of day you want to be outside our house here even if the power goes out in town uh, it doesn't really matter here because we have the solar panels and that runs the house but even for, if for some reason the solar panel system went down our house is a balmy uh, 72 uh, it might be like pushing 75 at the moment with the, the wood stove going in there we can keep it totally warm and comfortable in there there are people in town that have issues you know if the power goes down it's gonna be a problem for them in fact the police department here in town contacted us, just robocalling, and told us that, uh, you know, there's a warming center in town, you know, for people if their, you know, their house uh, goes down and they can't keep it warm. Wow, it, it's, it's chilly out here. My hands are already really cold. Um, you know, and they, these are concerns that a lot of people have to have, but when you have a situation where, you know, you're not relying on things that can be unreliable, like the... Uh, the power grids in you know towns and things like that when you don't rely on unreliable things a lot of those kind of concerns and worries that other people have to deal with and I know a lot of people just put blinders on to them and they kind of pretend that they're not there until it bites them in the butt uh, and it is biting a lot of people in the butt today uh, but uh, uh, it's just it's really it's it's nice relaxing and stress-free knowing that you know no matter what I can go inside this house I can go into the greenhouse and it's a nice 55 and then it's 20 degrees warmer than that inside the house. That's it, my hands are starting to freeze off. I'm gonna head in, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, if the idea of creating your own off-grid place for yourself sounds appealing, you'll probably be interested in watching my playlist where I go through, beginning to end, every single day, what it took to put this place together.